Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is while you're watching this. I'd like to share with you a top tip that was shared with me by Richard, one of the senior observers from Northamptonshire Advanced Motorcyclists, the IAM group for the county, when I was an associate. And it's all to do with bridges. Obviously, we know that at this time of year, January when I'm recording this, a bridge will give a lot of shade onto the road beneath, so you have to be a little bit careful in case there's any ice there. But did you also know that riding over a bridge means you can experience ice even if you're in direct sunlight? You may be wondering how a bridge over air is going to be colder than road over land. One thing to look at as you travel over bridges, certainly in the UK and in other countries as well I imagine, is for either side of a bridge you'll often get some metal fingers that interlock. And these are for the thermal expansion of the steelwork within the bridge itself. If you travel around the M6 south of Birmingham, you'll get your kidneys punched out through your ears but every time you ride over these because where the tarmac's been put across the road, it is very, very uneven. If you're on a bike, the thing is to try and spot the point from the raised section where they put the concrete in in the first place to the sunken section where the vehicles have... Uh, made it gradually toothpaste itself into the road, find the sweet spot and eliminate as much of the bouncy bouncy as possible. Anyway, getting back to our example here. On the bridge section, heat can escape in four different directions. It can escape sideways here and uh, from the rear of the bridge here, also directly upwards and directly downwards. However, on the road either side, the only place the heat can escape is upwards. So the bridge is actually losing more heat to the surrounding atmosphere than the road is. Another thing throughout the year, and believe it or not we do get summers in the UK, there's lots and lots of lovely heat coming to warm the ground up. In the UK we don't get permafrost, we might get a little bit of slightly frozen soil in the top inch or so but we don't really get anything frozen much deeper than that. So all this ground either side of the bridge is acting as a lovely heat reservoir that can let the heat come back up to warm the road up throughout the winter. This is one of the reasons why I love November. The ground is still soft enough to get a spade in but it gets dark early and having st studied astrophysics I've solved the three body problem by burying them all before they start making my, the boot of my car get smelly. The final thing that has an effect is the big area under the bridge which is full of air. You're going to get air movement either way to and fro and that's going to replace any air warmed by the uh, convection, conduction and radiation from the bridge is going to go into an air, a mass of air that is then moved out of the way and replaced by lovely cold air. So you're going to get a continual refrigeration effect on the bridge which you're not going to get on the surrounding land. So let's have a look at travelling from land onto a bridge and you'll see the frost at the side of the road. So here we are coming up to a bridge. The area under the trees is in continual shade during the winter but there's no ice. But as soon as we hit the bridge, even though it's exposed to direct sunlight, there's still ice at the side of the road, showing that this is not warming up as much as the ground, even though it's fully shaded under the trees is. Hopefully this top tip that again was passed on to me, it's not one of mine, will uh, make you a bit more aware of what can happen when you're riding over bridges. It's uh, January when I'm recording this in the UK. We've still got a couple of months of uh, likely frost and ice to consider so uh, bear this in mind when you're riding i hope you all stay upright and uh, catch you all later cheers bye another factor is throughout the year especially if we get a summer in the uk there's lots and lots of <clears throat> thank you